you're going to hit that point. It's going to be really hard to build muscle beyond that. You're going to have to really hurt yourself with a lot of training. Now, myostatin inhibition actually increases where your myostatin ceiling is so you can build more muscle. To an extreme case, if you've ever seen those Belgian blue cows, the ones that are just yoked out of their minds, they have a myostatin deficiency to where they can just build muscle forever, right? We're not looking to look like Marcus Rule, the old like, you know, early 2000s bodybuilder that was out of control, huge, right? We're talking about like, how do I just build muscle? And I don't want to do this in an unnatural, unhealthy way. When you train your mitochondria and you get healthier, you have a natural myostatin inhibition that occurs at a natural rate to allow muscles to grow. So myostatin can get pushed back. You're not theoretically born with like a set amount of myostatin. Okay, it can change, right? So in this American Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism study with mice, they gave them MOTC and they found that there was a 40% reduction in myostatin. So it ended up giving them a significantly larger potential to build muscle, which ultimately led to more mitochondria, which ultimately led to better insulin sensitivity, which ultimately led to better weight loss, right? So there's a couple of ways in which you can kind of increase myostatin, but this is a way that seems to also prevent atrophy. 